a drill that helps me on the field. Um, It'd have to be line out throwing to be fair. The day before the game day I'll do a bar lift, like Olympic lift, clean. It's a, rugby's a running based game so it's probably running. You don't like doing it but um, it certainly helps. Just get a, a lock um, on a box and it's about the height of a line out and just throw heaps of seeds uh, at the target. Um, that's something I'll probably do three to four times a week. I think it's like a whole body workout. I do power because yeah, it's help. It's for the whole body. So I just do like not that many reps, just focus on my power. In a pre-season week, we'd run anywhere between two and up to four times a week. Um, the drill that uh, that usually helps with my game, I'd you know ask one of my mates to you know try defend me. Usually set out I don't know like a square and then you know would just try and use my feet and stuff to try and get past them and there's always this one person that after every training would always come and call, he'll call out to me from wherever he is he's like yeah Sevalani come here. Sam Whitelock's always challenging me every day actually he actually challenges me a lot you know because um, obviously he's you know he's a, yeah I don't know how tall he is like Coming up against him and having to try to run past him, I'd have to probably step from like, probably like two metres off. So yeah, nah, but yeah, Sam Whitelock, he's actually helped me a lot with uh, with my footwork, actually. A position I'd like to play outside of lock, if I could, um, would be loose head prop. If, if I like to play any other position, I'll play first five. Yeah, everyone's dream. It's because I want to be a goal kicker. I did play first five a little bit when I was in school, but... I sort of joke with... Joe Moody and a few of the front row boys that if there was a rule change or one of them boys uh, had an injury last minute that I'd sort of slot in. Uh, if I could play any other position it would be probably centre or second five. Wouldn't go tight head, um, yeah no different kettle of fish the tight heads. They yeah, spend a bit of time on the wing so I'd love to move with a bit more time, hands on the ball and yeah just give it a go bit more yeah one on one stuff so that, yeah I'd love to give that a shot. I'd actually I'd, I'd actually play centre. So this is actually a fun fact is I've never played wing in my whole life until when I first signed with Waikato. That's when I first played wing then. If you any other Fijian out there, you no matter if you play first five or second five or half back, you're gonna end up in the wing mate. There's no hiding there, you're going to the sidelines. I played centre um, my whole year, like in school, played centre, second five, fullback, and I guess those were the three positions I'd just rotate around. I'd love to play centre if I get, had the chance to, or if I get the chance to, I'd love to play centre. Um, yeah, in terms of Crusaders coach and All Blacks maybe. Most important trait for athlete is discipline. Make sure you like stick to your training and and even I guess resilience as well that's probably another one but I reckon work ethic is a big one being a professional rugby player I think the most important thing is just keeping a positive mindset like it's easy to turn up on a sad day and play footy but it's the work that goes in during the week so, you know not getting named in teams not getting selected you know here and there is yeah, how you deal with those those little setbacks like injuries or um, things outside of uh, rugby, like uh, what's happening in your life, uh, resilience is pretty a pretty uh, key trait as well. If that's one thing I would give advice to a young fella coming through is just every time you're on that training paddock or in the gym, give it everything you've got. So come Saturday, you can just go out and express yourself and um, have a bit of fun.